Hi, my name is Megan Fisher, and I'm an occupational therapist and national presenter with Learning Without Tears. And today I want to talk to you about some fun fine motor activities using everyday household items. So I started saving some things that I would normally throw out. So the top of one of my favorite breakfast treats, the Velveeta box, I saved this box. It was cute with Big Bird. Maybe some yogurt labels. Something I received in the mail. Now all of these have varying degrees of thickness in regards to cardstock. Um, so you want to save all different types of cardstock um, for your child to learn how to cut on. And my favorite, the K-Cup. The K-Cup. This is one of my favorite um, K-Cups, and who doesn't need coffee right now? So save that from the coffee box. So today's activity is going to be about cutting. So what I did on the back of this Belvedo box is I went ahead and drew some darkened lines for a child to cut on. Now you could make this easier or harder depending on how intricate the design is. But at first, as your preschooler is learning how to cut, simple, straight, thick lines is gonna be easiest. Now I went ahead and have one all created and done for you. Now let's talk about modifications to this activity. In this case, I went ahead and already cut out the puzzle for this child, um, and I'm just gonna focus on having this child arrange it. But you could also have them cut it out. Keep in mind, it's in a Ziploc bag, so it's gonna work on self-help skills as well. I went ahead and used some paper clips and paper clipped these together. So the added challenge of getting those apart and now I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this. So let's see, this goes over here. This one is a fun one. This one has Cookie Monster. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this puzzle like so. Now, to make this even harder, if you wanted to make it a little bit harder, what you could do is you could have your child learn to take some tape and arrange those pieces together and tape them like that. Now, if this is too hard for your child, what I would suggest that you do is you already have some tape that's been pre-cut or ready to go and maybe their goal is just to line up the pieces and keep them together. So I'm gonna do that right here. And you might even need one on the back just to stabilize it a little bit. So we're gonna do that and arrange it like so. And then just one on the back to reinforce. And there you have your completed puzzle.